I'm Pete Ferryman, and here's today's Fox 12 Flash Briefing. Portland police say last night's protest in North Portland turned into a riot. They arrested several protesters, but they did not use tear gas. This 46th night of protests took place in front of the headquarters for the Portland Police Association. This is the second time in two weeks that the union's offices were targeted. The recent surge in COVID-19 cases has prompted Governor Brown to introduce two measures that will take effect tomorrow. First, face coverings will be required outside when people cannot maintain a distance of six feet from each other. And second, the governor is banning social gatherings of more than 10 people. Churches and businesses are excluded from that ban. The governor says she's more concerned about private gatherings. And a reminder that tomorrow is tax day. The federal income tax deadline was postponed this year because of COVID-19. If you still need to file, you may want to do so online. There's a big backlog of paper returns because many IRS employees are working from home. And it could, in fact, uh, impact the, your refund if you have one. It may take longer to get that refund. Uh, by the way, the Oregon uh, Department of Revenue tax deadline is also tomorrow. The Portland Arts Tax is due tomorrow as well for those living in the city of Portland. All right, now that uh, we've filed that away, let's get over to Ann for the weather. Yes, we've got lots of sunshine coming our way here today and tomorrow. Highs will stay back into the mid 80s. A little bit of extra cloud cover moves in Thursday and Friday, but we're right back to the sunshine and the warmth by the end of the weekend. All right, and thank you for news and weather updates anytime. Visit our website, kptv.com, and be sure to check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash fox12.